What a great way to start a morning off. Hot cakes, sausage, and I got my little McButter and the magic hot cake syrup. Mm. You know what's missing? Something to wash it down with. As soon as I uh, knock this breakfast out, I'll be back with a uh, with a nice little Hackintosh video. So stick around. Hey guys, it's Gabinelli, and welcome to another Hackintosh video. Um, I apologize for not uploading any videos lately. Uh, I've been very busy, and maybe I'll talk more about that in later videos. But we got a lot of catching up to do, right? So let's get started. In front of you, you see the infamous Dale Vostro 1510 Hackintosh. And now you see my MacBook Air. Now, uh... The way this video got started is because the other night I downloaded, I purchased and downloaded uh, OSX Mountain Lion. And in February, I did a review on OSX Mountain Lion developer's preview. And I'm sticking to my guns in that preview. I basically said, uh, if you already have Lion or if you already have uh, Snow Leopard on your Hackintosh, then I... I would stick with it. I would definitely stick with it. Not just for the fact that developer's preview was kind of buggy, but you know, developer's preview was more so of a beta. But I still stick to my guns with saying that because here's the thing: Mountain Lion boasts uh, it boasts tight old iOS integration. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, an iPad, a, a Touch. Or any of those type of things, then it really doesn't make sense because, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Because, like I said, it boasts a tight integration. You won't experience the real mountain lion experience. You know what I mean? Because you don't have any extra devices. See, I have the MacBook, and then I have uh, the Touch, and I have a Power Mac G5, and then I got these Hackintoshes. So, you know, it's one thing to have other Hackintoshes. It's another to actually have a portable device that links to this no matter where you are because of the cloud. So awesome. Um, one of the things I want to point out to you is the experience. And the experience is you have this camera right here. And I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. But uh, you have this microphone right here. Now, this mic and this camera plays a great role when it comes to FaceTime. Now, you can have FaceTime on here, as you already know, but what, what, what comes with that is this. Now, I'm not just speaking of a laptop. I'm speaking of a desktop also. You have to go out and get a camera. Now, you might get a camera with a mic. Most likely, you will. You plug it up, USB port. You got to look at the fact, will you be able to find drivers for that camera? Will you update Lion and all of a sudden lose uh, support for that camera? Um, do you have the right USB 2.0 drivers? You got to look at all that stuff. Um, and then on top of that, you got to find somewhere to put your camera and look into it. Whereas, seamless. Everything is there. Convenient. Another reason this mic plays a great role is because in OS X Mountain Lion, you have something called dictation. And basically, dictation, as uh, most people are calling it Siri or, or the precursor to Siri or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but dictation, uh, basically, you talk into the mic, it sends your data to Apple, and uh, Apple uh, types your word back. I guess that's the best way to put it. You know, I'm sorry if I'm politically incorrect. Please don't kill me. Um, and that's about it. There are a lot of other features that I'll probably discuss later in other videos. But I'm just letting you know where I stand as far as having a Hackintosh and upgrading to Mountain Lion. Now, you can do it. I'm not saying don't do it. You can do it. You know, by all means, you can do whatever you want to do. 
But if you're asking me what do I think, my opinion, that's my opinion. Uh, what else can I say? Um, one of the things I noticed when I went to the App Store, uh, I was checking out the reviews in the App Store and people were so upset and angry. You know, uh, there were a lot of happy people that, you know, they're happy with uh, OSX Live, but a lot of people were upset because their biggest thing is they don't have uh, AirPlay support. And let me break this down to you. If you don't know what AirPlay support is, AirPlay is, let me paint a picture for you. There's a device called Apple TV. Let you watch streaming videos, you know, stuff like uh, Hulu and Voodoo and whatever. Um, I can't tell you verbatim uh, what's exactly on there. Um, but it's basically streaming shows and stuff like that in like Netflix. Um, what AirPlay what AirPlay is, is if you have, if you're watching a video or something on your MacBook, you can send that straight to your, your Apple TV. That's it. Oh, AirPlay also works with audio too. So I guess if you got like AirPlay speakers in your house or something like that, you can send whatever you're listening to uh, in iTunes, you can send it to the multiple AirPlay speakers in your house or something like that. That's pretty much about it. Now, their problem is... Those angry, bitter people, they have uh, older MacBook Airs. Mine's is a 2010, so I don't have AirPlay support, but it doesn't bother me. These guys are upset about that. I feel their pain because you spend all your money on a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro only for Apple to go, buy another one, sucker. So that would kind of piss me off too, which is why we Hackintosh. That's one of the reasons we Hackintosh. Because we don't need nobody. Buy another one, sucker. So, I understand. But here's the thing. If that, apps, if that really bothers you and you absolutely must have a device to stream, buy a Roku player. You probably don't want to hear that. I'm sorry. Please don't ridicule me. Buy a Roku player. Now, that's where I stand with... Uh, OSX Mountain Lion. And uh, you got any questions? By all means, shoot them past me. And uh, you know how I do. I'll respond. So I'm done. Later.